What's up guys? May One Wolf, and if you didn't know, um, now you know. Welcome to how to make it in the South African music industry. Today's episode is about social media. If you don't have a social media profile already, set up a social media profile on all platforms. There's no such thing as too many social media platforms if you're a musician because every single platform that you're on reaches a bigger audience. Once you've discovered and know all the platforms you're going to be on, the most important thing is what is your handle going to be? A lot of people come up with the most creative and the weirdest names of their handles. This is not good for you. You need to stick as close to your actual stage name as possible. If you can't find your name free, let's say your name is John E as a stage name, obviously there probably will be another John E. Try to put RSA or SA, it's more specific to where you're from in the name. This helps with people finding you. Next, if you're trying to build your social media is please do not and I hate this the most. Let's go spamming people. Do not spam. It does not help your career. It does not make people convinced that your music is suddenly good. And say, I'm the hottest thing. Please check out my music. Bro, please retweet. That does nothing for you. It distracts from what you're capable of. Because me as an artist who gets a thousand messages like that immediately switch off to your profile and a lot of other artists actually just block you so you're closing opportunities you're not creating opportunities and even if you, even if you do get a retweet those retweets do nothing because people still don't listen just because someone retweeted it doesn't mean anything there's too much music being brought out in that same manner so don't do that because it only hurts your career it doesn't help your career So if you not allowed to spam, not allowed to irritate other artists to get retweets and get your name out there, you must be asking yourself, so how do I get my followers up? This is simple. Stop chasing the followers. Rather grow your following organic. It's slower, yes I know, but sometimes it's worth to take your time. There's no rush in growing your social media. Your social media will grow naturally with how relevant you are in real life. If you grow your social media and you only exist on a social media platform, that doesn't really give you a career, does it? You're just a Twitter gangster. Don't be a Twitter gangster. So how do you grow your following? The way you grow your following organically is by putting out content a lot of people underestimate the power of creating content you be the more people listen even if you have one person listen or two people listen if your music is good and connecting with those two those two will tell another two and those four that will tell another eight and then those eight will become 16 16 32 I'm not good with maths, but you get the point. The point is you can grow your following just because your music is connecting with people. So let your social media grow in that manner because then you're getting a following of people that actually care about you and your music. And they're more likely to support you as opposed to just having followers just sitting there watching. So with all the basics down, on social media with that we can now step up to the next episode when I talk about wait I'm not gonna tell you what I talk about in the next episode you need to like subscribe and share and then wait for when I'm going to post up the next episode because it's not gonna be that easy you guys need to engage with me if you want to know how to make it in the South African music industry so with that said I'm A1 Wolf. Till the next episode. Oh.
we.